Hey guys, thought I'd show you some of the books that I was talking about in my previous video. Alright, so I've got a piano book. So I've got some tips and ideas from that. Um, this was pretty good because it went into songs. Okay, I didn't go through a lot of this book. I kind of like... Um, uh, I just looked at some things that I wanted to learn because piano wasn't my main goal. Yeah, that was a good book. Um, this book I went through a lot. I really went through this book a lot, playing guitar. And this book really helped. So, um, yeah, like uh, it taught me a lot. It really got me going, okay? And it was all, it all taught, taught songs and it had a CD with it and with all the tracks and that was really great. And I, I learned a few songs from that. The author was excellent. What was his name? Frederick Noad. I get a nice feeling even when I say the name. I used to practice while the ads were on on TV. <laughs> it was like 12 years ago. And then, not unrelated, it was like a muscle building book by Jack Lelane. He's the guy that invented gyms, apparently. He just, he died recently, he died at 95, but yeah, he was very healthy and very fit. It's not really related, but, um, okay, music books. Oh, Alright, here's a bunch of Panic at the Disco. These are all song books. Mariah, Voice to Man, Voice to Man, Rihanna, John Legend. Michael Bublé, a song book that came with a keyboard <laughs> that I bought. <laughs> uh, a drum book, I didn't use this one though. I use that one. Another drum book, did I use this one? No, I didn't use that. Because um, I learned drumming a little bit of a different way. Uh, I learned drumming through Kahan, which is this drum here. I had a teacher that came to the school where I used to work and I learned from her. This is the Seth Riggs book that I got, um, G4 Guitar, that's where I worked. So uh, I didn't give it back to him, <laughs> my bad. My bad David, if you're watching, <laughs> probably not. So um, yeah, I felt like this book was just, this guy advertising all the people he's taught. And uh, I thought, he's a bit of an idiot, like I don't wanna see all the people you've taught over and over and over. Like, stop showing off. Where's, where's the lessons? And, um, yeah, I didn't find the lessons to be helpful. It wasn't anything to do with songs, just a bunch of exercises disguised as something different. Ear training book, that's pretty good. I didn't use it that much though. Finger picking book, used that a lot for guitar. Bar chord book, that was good, used that. Rhythm book, this was excellent. That got me started with my rhythm because I couldn't strum at all. I couldn't strum... And finger picks so this told me all about how rhythm worked and then that got me going this was a beginner book I used to have to use that to teach in the schools so they just the good side is they use songs to teach melodies it wasn't just like a bunch of exercises so that was pretty good in that way um, but I never use it personally because I'm not really interested to play from reading sheet music I just I'd rather learn just to play songs from memorization or just from reading chords, not from reading sheet music. Michael Bublé. Uh, another guitar book with like a lot of just like chords and voicings. Stevie Wonder book. Um, funk and R&B guitar. So I was trying to learn R&B guitar and then I found this book but it wasn't really what I was looking for, but it, it taught me some things that were that enabled me to teach myself from watching YouTubers and people that were playing the music I actually wanted to learn. Um, I've got a lot of books here. Chords, another chord book. I'm good, I'm good with the guitar chords now, but you can see it took a lot of work. Um, a bass book, I didn't end up going through that. I, I stopped bass because I wanted to it's hard to, to do too many things at the same time, so I changed my focus. Syncopation, and that's about rhythm, our drum and rhythm. And that's all of the music books. So you can see here, they, um, 
they really do take up a bit. Now, have I read them all? All the way through? No, I don't read them all the way through. I take what is interesting or what I feel like is valuable to what I'm trying to achieve. So it might be half the book, three quarters of the book. It might be 10 pages of the book. It depends on what it is. It depends on what my focus is. And, um, and then what I, what I did, what's not here, what you can't see that I did read was hundreds and hundreds of online articles and websites that had all different authors and they also taught piano, guitar and singing. So a lot of that. And hundreds of YouTube videos of different singing teachers and, and uh, different musicians. And of course, not to mention the music, the actual music that I listen to. Um, thousands, thousands of songs from albums that I really study in depth with Amazing Slowdown and all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, that's how you get to be an expert at something. Oh, with the, the bodybuilding book. Oh, I didn't show all the books. Actually, I've got a few more. Yeah. Craig David one. Tank, Sex, Love, Pain. Boys to Men, another one. Guy Sebastian, an incredible Australian artist. Scales and modes for guitar. So that shows you all the different kinds of modes and scales. In guitar that's pretty cool like how to create different moods with the scales that was pretty interesting um, another guitar book um, for improvisation on guitar that was good got me some tricks uh, here's a picture I made up of my body like when I was really built so like um, you know learning about all the bodybuilding stuff helps to build your body here's my sign and you can just see sort of the different my different favorite singers on it the best money can't buy that like kind of helps my philosophy kind of stuff it helps me understand logic a bit more yeah so that's an interesting really good book um, Neil Bernard about how to reverse diabetes with diet. Yes, it actually can be done, and he shows how and proves it. Um, this book, Medicine of the Prophet, back when I was Muslim, and it actually um, it actually helped me become atheist because reading it showed me how much uh, of it wasn't true, and that if God knew how to heal us, He would. So that actually helped me realize that religion is not actually real. Um, what was going on? This was a great book too, Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. Um, I don't always follow the rules, but I should, I should. That's a great book as well with amazing evidence, you should look into it. So those kind of books turned me vegan and made me bodybuilding. So immerse yourself in, in knowledge and you will improve. Um, make sure the knowledge is got to do with your goal. So like set your goal and then try to find things that will help you get to your goal. So a lot of my channel is actually about summarizing and taking the best of all these different books that I have and all the bits and pieces and helping to teach it to you in the, in the easiest way. So you don't have to go through, like I went through in the books, a lot of the confusing stuff or the unnecessary stuff there is a lot unfortunately it's just the process of teaching I'm sure someone's gonna see my teaching method and maybe refine it and make it better you know down the track so that's just how things work alright guys I'm Rashid Hayek I'm BCLessons.com see you next time